Thailand's tourism industry is trying to get back on track in a new coronavirus world. The sector represents a hefty 20 percent of the country's GDP, so it's important for operators to find new ways to do business. NHK World's Saktaya Krainkuntot reports. This famous white sand beach is welcoming domestic tourists again. It was closed for nearly three months as a coronavirus prevention measure. People are eager for an escape after staying home for so long. The number of new infections is low. I feel safer taking my kid on a vacation. Hotels have new services that emphasize safety and hygiene. Rooms at these resorts are fully booked on weekends. One of the draw cards is direct delivery from some of the best local restaurants. Staff take special care with food presentation and serve the meals on sanitized tableware. We are partnering with the finest uh, local uh, culinary uh, specialists um, to deliver the food over to the hotel so that our guests will not have to take the risk of traveling to the shop. Thailand's tourism authority has come up with a virtual travel plan that allows people to take in the site. I'm in a room in Bangkok, but I'm going to take a trip to the ancient capital in the north. Let's go. The program features 10 popular destinations. Users can enjoy a 360-degree view and take everything in without having to worry about the risk of infection. An online platform is helping some businesses reach out to local customers. Many of the participants used to rely on foreign tourists. A record 40 million visited last year, but only a quarter of that number is expected during 2020. The border remains shut for now. Our promotion now is if you buy a big item, you'll get a smaller one for free. Nadrawi Diom Khanmani sells handmade products. She cut prices by half to encourage people to spend and remains optimistic about the future. I think it will take more than a year for the market to recover. But I believe tourists will want to return and do some shopping once the pandemic is over. Thailand's government has a series of promotional campaigns in the works with plans to pour in more than $60 million to revive domestic tourism. We're looking at distributing coupons or vouchers to people who take an interprovincial vacation. Thai people will help to revive the tourism industry and gradually the country's economy as a whole. Thailand has been heavily dependent on foreign tourists for some time, but the current environment it's up to domestic holidaymakers to get things moving. Sathya Grekunthod, NSK World, Prajwab Kirikan, Thailand.